Our brain is a fascinating organ. Damage or injury to our brain may lead to drastic changes to our behavior and to our personality. In this video, we will discuss a case study of a patient who, after suffering a stroke, saw dramatic changes to his personality. One day, a 48-year-old man who worked as a department head of a large company unfortunately suffered a stroke. Prior to his stroke, the patient's family would characterize him as cautious and responsible. He was also described as having a good relationship with his wife and his son, as well as with his close friends. As he was recovering from his stroke, his family started to notice how the patient's personality had abruptly changed. Most notably, the man developed a pattern of generosity that doctors considered to be pathological. Although previously being financially responsible, he would now carelessly spend most of his money. This pathological generosity hindered the patient from coping financially with his family and if it weren't for the close attention of his wife, the man would be constantly in debt. His pathological generosity also hindered the patient from resuming his job which required him to be financially astute. At one point, the patient and his brother-in-law decided to start a small business together where they sell homemade fries. The business eventually failed because the patient would give away most of his product for free and he did not worry about paying back the money he owed to his debtors. Roughly one year after his stroke, the patient was examined for his changes in his personality and behavior. Upon examination, doctors noted that he appeared to be extremely fatigued. As the patient reported that he was sleeping less than 4 hours a day, this fatigue was attributed to insomnia. Furthermore, doctors noticed that the patient showed very little emotional expression and his speech and gestures were slow and brief. The patient reported feeling depressed and stated that he had little to no interest in life. He also showed symptoms of inattention and forgetfulness and showed blunted affect, lack of persistence and planning, as well as impaired judgment. Throughout his examination, doctors noted that the patient had partial insight into the changes to his personality and behavior. He would often claim that because of his stroke, he had now seen death from up close and therefore now wanted to be in high spirits. When asked about his former occupation, he would argue that he had already worked enough and that it was now time for him to enjoy life which is too short. Doctors decided to conduct an extensive examination to determine whether the patient's pathological generosity potentially could be attributed to current depression, mania, apathy, or to a pattern of disinhibition. However, it was determined that the patient's pathological generosity could not be attributed to any of these disorders as the clinical details excluded the patients from these conditions. Doctors also examined whether his symptoms could be attributed to dementia, but a neuropsychological examination failed to find evidence for this as the patient did not meet the criteria for dementia. Despite his pathological generosity not being attributable to depression, the patient still showed depressive symptoms. The patient had reported feeling sad and had very little interest or enjoyment in life. He also experienced fatigue, insomnia, and a general inattentiveness in his life. In response to these symptoms, doctors decided to prescribe the patient a medication called amitriptyline, which is a medication that he had previously been prescribed for a major depressive episode he suffered five years before the stroke. Within just a few weeks of being prescribed this medication, the depressive symptoms in the patient had remitted and the patient claimed to be cured and to be as happy as ever. The patient's treatment was followed up for four years and despite his depressive symptoms being successfully treated, his pathological generosity did not noticeably change. A question that arises from this case study is, how is it that a stroke can lead to these dramatic changes to one's personality and behavior? Previous research on this topic has shown that lesions to certain subcortical structures can result in patients developing impulsive behaviors such as pyromania, compulsive behaviors such as counting, and impulsive compulsive behaviors such as hoarding. 
Thus, there are several lines of research that have established a link between neurological damage, for instance as caused by strokes, and behavioral change. In this particular case study, the authors argued that the patient's stroke led to injury to some of his white matter pathways, and they speculated that the enduring personality changes mainly resulted from this damage. The authors further speculated that the discrete white matter damage seen in this patient produced cortical deafferentation, which means that the neural signals that travel to our brain from other parts of the body was damaged. This in turn might have disrupted the interplay of the neural systems that underpin key dimensions of personality such as the extraversion-introversion dimension. This case study sheds new light on the significant distress and financial burden that pathological generosity can cause. Further research on the causes and effects of pathological generosity is needed. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain and we hope to see you in the next video.